Blizzard's just released an update to the PTR, which has introduced a whole bunch of different gameplay additions, including the new offense hero, Sombra. She's the 23rd hero to be added to the game, so today we're going to be taking a look at her, and we're going to be discussing some of her abilities and the way she plays in-game. This isn't really going to be the best environment for me to test her out, because as you see, everyone will be playing her, making testing her out actually kind of difficult in the way that she relates to sort of the other characters in-game. But anyway, I will run through her abilities quickly. Her weapon is an Uzi-style submachine gun with 60 rounds, which deals about 8 damage per shot in a little bit of a spread, as you can see here. Her hack ability allows you to disable enemies, or you can hack health kits from making them unusable by the enemy. This also makes them respawn faster for you. You can also do this on turrets, which is that there. It's got a pretty lengthy 12 second cooldown, but you can see we can disable this, this training bot's abilities, which isn't really that important. Sombra also has the Overwatch's first stealth ability, which is Thermo-Optic Camo, which turns her completely invisible for about 6 seconds. If you take any damage, however, you will be revealed, which is a little bit unfortunate. This also improves your movement speed significantly. And she also has a similar ability to Tracer's Recall, in which Translocator lets you throw out a small gadget, like so, which for the next 15 seconds you can teleport back to by pressing the same button that you use to throw it. So, we'll run away... Get over here somewhere, and then we'll teleport back over here. Very, very cool. You can get quite a distance in about 15 seconds, so very nice. You can also use it whilst it's mid-air, so you can teleport while it's still going up. And of course, her ultimate ability, EMP, essentially uses her hack ability in a giant radius, disabling enemy abilities, barriers, shields, and turrets. So as you see here, goes out in a big area. All those guys would be hacked, and they wouldn't be able to use their abilities, and say... Say Reinhardt, Shield, Zarya's Barriers, uh, Winston's, Winston's uh, Big Shield, they'd all be disabled and destroyed. And this also works on turrets as well. Anyway, that looks like it's all the abilities for the moment. She also, actually, I take that back. She also has a passive ability, which if an enemy is at a below 50% health, you can see them through walls. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to display this properly through training. Anyway... I'll jump into a couple of games and try her out and see how she performs in a game of 11 other Sombras playing at the same time because that's all I'm going to run into, basically. Oh, that took way longer than I thought it would. So apparently in the latest update, which is 1.5 point something or other, Blizzard has decided to change the way uh, Quick Play works. So you can no longer stack heroes in Quick Play. You can only have a limit of one. So testing uh, Sombra is going to be a little bit... A little bit tricky, <laughs> but as uh, Mod were mentioned there in the chat, there's a brawl slash arcade mode if you just want to tell you, if you just want to test out uh, Sombra. So yeah, I was worried that this was going to be a little bit tricky, but you can go test it over there if that's what you're interested in. Yeah, this ought to be pretty interesting. Okay, I really am not sure. Oh god. Let's run away. Oh god, that breaks very easily, dude. That breaks so easily. <laughs> In all honesty, I never expected to be like 100% easy to use. But I'm gonna have to get closer than that if I want to um, pick up some kills. Let's hack that one. I'm not sure if I mentioned this or not, I think I did. The health packs respawn faster for you. So if you're hacked, they can't. the enemy can't use them and they respawn much, much faster for you. No, we don't really want to use our uh, translocator ability here. Fucking hell. Okay, so I've died a couple of times already, and I've already picking up some stuff. She is very hard to use, like exceptionally hard. We're gonna try and get behind. I'm still not really 100% of her role in the game, if I'm honest. Oh god. I'm dead. Dead again. For fuck's sake. Okay, okay, that's, that's a little bit better. No, I don't think that landed. Yeah, no, that didn't really land where I wanted it to, so we won't try and use that. Let's try and get behind them. With our stealth ability. Which is pretty cool, actually. Hack that one. 
Okay, we just try and EMP them. Get on the point and try and EMP. Not sure how that exactly went. Oh god. Really? Fuck. <laughs> so, uh, it worked. But I'm not exactly 100% sure what happened. I'm to shoot very, very quickly. I've also noticed that as well. You should do need to get relatively close to them to sort of be effective, which makes sense. It's a sh it's a submachine gun, so that should always be the case. I'm like going back there, dude. That yeah, it hits. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a pretty good use of her hack ability. You can make, uh... You can essentially make, uh... Health kits spawn much, much faster for you if you need a cheeky bit of health. Nice! Oh, I, under I understand now. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure I, I understand this now. I'm not doing a very good job at it, as that fairy is basically looking for me and me alone. But I understand it now. Essentially, you're trying to sneak behind them and try and catch them off guard, like I did with that Zenyatta there. Hack them so they can't use any of their abilities. And essentially just kill them very quickly. I'm not actually sure how we won there. It was, it was pretty good. Okay, so I've jumped into the new arcade game mode, No Limits, which is basically old quick play, which lets you pick any hero you want, rather than the current quick play, current quick play mode, which is on the uh, on the PTR, because that only limits you to one hero, so more opportunity to play as Sombra here in this, despite it not being a fantastic environment. I mean, it's probably just going to be six Sombra versus six Sombra, which is, that's fine, it'll still be able to showcase what she does, her abilities and all that kind of stuff. Yep. No, not good. Oh god. Gotta kill her. Come on, gotta get the pickup. Nice. Oh, I'm so hacked, dude. It's a good thing I can aim, holy shit. <laughs> Put our translocator back in that position there so we can go back there if we need to. Looks like we're gonna need to come back. Hmm. She actually does quite a lot of damage at uh, very close range, so. Is it, what is going on here? Whew, you just gotta aim. Just gotta be able to aim very well because her damage does lots of damage very close but not as much damage from far away, which you can imagine, that, that makes sense. So we'll do a bit of a cheeky push forward. We have our safety net of our translocator back there. Oh, gonna teleport back. That's not bad actually, that's not a bad strategy. There's, there's a one, oh. I'll try and get the hack on her. Where is she? Do we get her? I think so. <laughs> Can never be sure if we actually got her or not. Because she could have just got away. Here we go. Got up. Probably shouldn't use the alt there to just kill that one chick, but ah oh well. Sure, it's not going to be that big of a deal. But what is a big deal is hacking the health kits. That's probably one of the most important things you can do as Sombra, specifically to try and uh, make sure that you can pick them up, not just so that the enemy can't. Can you no, you can't break a translocator. Interesting. I think they're about to cap here. Holy shit. Let's get back. Oh, 
Oh god. No, can't can't join in here. <laughs> Hackers the EMP is pretty powerful, dude. Like really powerful. We're doing pretty well here. Try and keep our I'll try and take out this uh this Winston down here as he oh, he's been dealt with. Let's push forward. Come on, there's gotta be someone around here somewhere. Sounds like there's people. Try and do a bit of sneaking. Damn it. Ah, it's our first death. A little bit unfortunate. We sort of basically got jumped by another Sombra just doing what we just did there. <laughs> a little bit unfortunate. Oh god. Okay, we're gonna try and. Oh god, there's another one here. Whew. More health kits. So yeah, you have very good survivability as long as. Oh god, as long as the enemy team doesn't or isn't carrying too many Sombra, which shouldn't be that much of an issue. There should be only one, maximum two, depending on. Oh no, it should be one. Oh god, I got hacked. I got hacked. <laughs> Damn it! This is not good. This is not good. Fucking damn it. Okay, guys, that will about wrap up our first look at Sombra on the Overwatch PTR. She's she's a bit different. It's very very difficult to say how she'll fit into the meta game and how she'll impact the games overall. I mean the hacking of the have the health kits lasts a minute so you essentially can control a health kit like a full health kit for for a minute so that's very very powerful in terms of survivability because they respawn very quickly but yeah we're really sort of yet to see what impact she'll have on the actual game but anyway thank you very much for watching this has been luke from less than average gaming and i hope you guys have an above average day and i'll see you in the next episode bye